Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to use PSP DLC with PSP games on the Adrenaline emulator. So basically, um, this was actually my last video, but I just showed you how to do it on PSP. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to do it on the PS Vita with the Adrenaline emulator. So what you guys want to do first is just open up Vita Shell, and then once Vita Shell loads, press Select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right, so once you're on it, your computer and your PS Vita is connected, I will leave two links in the description of this video. The first link is just a link to the plugin you will need to get to get the DLC working. This is called NP Loader, so all you would do is just click here and it will download the plugin in a zip file. The second link in the description is just a list of every DLC that was released for PSP games. So obviously you must have the game and you must have the DLC um, that it goes with. Also guys, when you download DLC for the game, it must be exactly the same region. So if you have a Europe DLC and a Europe game, it'll work perfectly fine. But let's say you have a USA game and a Europe DLC, then they just won't be compatible. So for this video, um, I actually got, let me find it, I got this one right here, Rock Band Unplugged. So I've got the Europe ISO and the Europe DLC. So I've got those in my downloads folder. Now it's up to you where you get your game and DLC from. But all I'm going to do is get the plugin, right click and extract here. Go inside the folder and all we're interested in is mploader.prx. So I'm going to right click and copy that. Now go over onto your PS Vita, click on the view tab if you're on Windows and just click show hidden items because the folder we're looking for is one that's hidden. So here we are, it's called PSPMU. Go inside of that go inside of SE plugins folder and just right click and paste the plugin in here. Next, we will need to copy this line of text. Now I'll try and remember to leave this in the comments or something, but this is basically all it is. MSO, SE plugins, MP loader. It's basically just um, a line of text that gets the plugin working. So we're just going to right click and copy this into the game.txt. I've already got it in here, so I'm just gonna paste it in again. Then go to file and save. And we also need to put this in the pops.txt. So let's just paste this in here. Okay, so once we've got the line of text in both of these text documents and the plugin in, next thing we need to do is just copy across our game and our DLC. So if I go back to my downloads folder, the game will just go inside PSPMU and then ISO. I've already got one in there, so I'm not gonna copy that across again. And then with the DLC, it will go into PSP, game folder, and then somewhere in here. So obviously you just drag and drop it across into your game folder. Mine is right here and then that is pretty much it. Also, your DLC should be in this kind of format. It should have a PVP file in it, and then depending on what game it is, it should just have all the DLC files. Obviously, this one is all music, so here are all the music tracks that this DLC comes with. So that is it for the PC. You can now disconnect your PS Vita, and I will show you guys what to do next. All right guys, so back on our PS Vita, we can now completely close out of Vita Shell and you just want to open up your Adrenaline emulator. All right, so once it loads, what you actually want to do is just press select and this is going to bring up the Adrenaline VSH menu. You want to scroll down and press X on recovery menu. From here, we want to go into plugins and then just press X on it. Now there's a few plugins that we need to make sure are enabled. The first one that must be enabled is npdrm underscore free, and that should be enabled. You should also have another plugin in here, um, which is in the games folder, make sure that's enabled as well. Then of course you've got nploader, make sure that is enabled, and then we've got nploader pops, so just make sure that's enabled. If they're not enabled, all you do is press X on them, and you can switch between disabled and enabled. So once you've got all of your plugins enabled, go up to the top and then go back, then scroll down and just go to exit. So now your PS Vita has restarted. We can now go onto the memory stick and find our game. So we can also check just to make sure the DLC is on here as well. Um, obviously if we press X on the DLC, it just won't work at all. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to launch up the game. Right, so now we're on the game, it's time to see 
if the DLC is working so we're just going to do a quick play uh, now with this game um, I was actually in my last video but with this game all of the DLC is music and if it's DLC it has this small um, arrow next to it so as you can see all our music DLC has been copied across we have everything on here and it works so let's just test it out let's just press A or press X on any song and then press X to start it and as you can see it loads in perfectly fine so that is pretty much it for this video that is how you get PSP DLC in the Adrenaline em Emulator if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one